Hello YouTube and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of medicine. Sangamo Biosciences Inc. have tested a new gene therapy. This gene therapy disrupts a gene the HIV virus uses to infect cells. Although this phase one trial was very small, initial results are promising, helping the immune system in most patients. Six of the ten even went off their antiretrovirals for a time, one of which ended up with almost no trace of the virus. This was due to a natural mutation the patient had to one copy of the targeted gene. Targeting the 5-10% to 10 of the population with this mutation makes the current treatment more effective, but there's always room for improvement. Increasing the overall number of cells that are modified could potentially lead to a cure. Now my personal favorite, biotechnology. Scientists at UC San Diego have had a breakthrough in bacteria gene sequencing. This might not sound like a big deal, but consider that most bacteria can't be cultured and conventional sequencing technology requires a billion cells for a full genome. With the new technology based on multiple displacement amplification and new software, Around 90% of a genome can be sequenced from a single cell. Tests involving the already sequenced E. coli show the new method to be almost as effective as conventional technology. The scientists then sequenced the genome of a marine bacteria, which is one example among many of this new world of biology we can now study. We now switch gears to the world of engineering. A team headed by a Yale University electrical engineering professor has designed a magnetic fluid pump. The system is designed to transport ferrofluid without any moving parts. Instead, electrodes coiled around a pipe move the ferrofluid due to its magnetic properties. The plan is to use this in electronics cooling systems. The lack of mechanical parts making it smaller and more efficient. Not only will this lead to smaller high-performance computers, but possibly medical applications as well. Our final story is a brainstorm first from the field of nutrition. A study from China shows that some plant microRNA is absorbed through digestion. MicroRNAs generally combine with messenger RNAs to reduce or regulate the production of certain proteins. But the study showed that some microRNA is absorbed intact when mammals eat plants affecting physiology. This discovery has a wide range of implications, such as new avenues of research when studying metabolic disorders. Information containing RNAs could even end up being a new class of nutrient. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.